Welcome back, everybody. If you're not in a seat, uh, I suggest you take a seat now because the information I'm about to tell you about Earth 2, it's going to leave you on the floor. It's big. Okay, ladies and gents, today we're going to be looking at a little bit of a shit show that has unfolded. Now, as I say, this is a big one. This is huge. I just want to premise this by saying I don't believe that the Earth 2 developers are as stupid as they seem. I've got a slight feeling that what I'm about to show you is a trap that they in fact laid for us. Because nobody can be this stupid to do this and think that, it's, that this is a good idea. So today they announced that they had hired a new lead artist developer for Earth 2. This was publicly announced in the Discord. And this artist's name is Tana Rozankovic. Rozankovic? Ro Rozankovic, yes. Tana Rozankovic. Now... A quick search of this guy's name will lead you to a Steam profile. That Steam profile is no longer called Tana Rozankovic. Rozanik, Rozankovic. That is now called Varius Benson. Why does that name sound familiar to everyone? Well, that's because of this. Rage over what has continued to transpire serves to help no one at all. What will help is if those of you watching this video can take it upon yourselves to notify others on social media, whether it be fellow gamers, friends, or family of what is an ongoing situation. Also, if you wish to be especially helpful, I would ask that you notify other content creators and urge them to help spread the word on what is a completely amoral indie developer who continues to flagrantly violate the law in a continuing effort to silence negative critique of his own game. If you remember a Dirty Devs episode by Sid Alpha, on the game Civil Contract, Varius Benson is the absolute deplorable human being that after a review of his shovelware asset flip game went viral, he decided to DMCA strike every video that criticised this shovelware shite. This went to the point of him th making th DMCA strike threats saying, I'm going to do a third, your channel will be gone, and just downright emotional manipulation. Sid Alpha highlights in this video that this guy is just despicable. It, possibly one of the worst asset flip developers that I think I've actually ever seen. And I hadn't heard of this guy until three weeks ago. But it's good that I did hear about him because this makes a lot more sense. They've essentially hired on the Earth 2 team a serial scammer that has changed his name to try and hide that this is him. Now, could this just be this guy making a joke by applying and trying to shovel himself in there and, you know, squeeze himself into the Earth 2 team and then just be like, yeah, this game's flawed. I don't know. But again, I feel that there's some sort of trap that's been laid somewhere here because this is so obvious that I don't believe they would fall for this. I think they're stupid, but I don't think they're this stupid. This guy also messaged Psy Syndicate and said, that he wanted him to delete all his videos or else. Now, Sci Syndicate made videos on this, pointing out that this was just asset flipped shovelware. So this guy will go to any aggressive lengths to hide any sort of truth about his products or himself. This went on to almost lead into a legal battle. Sci Syndicate goes on to say, but that would be three strikes. Varius Benson says, correct, and you three and your channel is deleted, so remove your videos. Psy then went on to correctly point out, you do realise that this makes you look bad, right? Varius, the all-knowing god, says, I have spoken. Faith is in your hands. I think he meant fate. Psy then says, can I get a refund for my 80 Australian dollars then? Varius continues to say, do you want to keep your channel? Delete those and you will be fine. This is a very manipulative person who can't handle actual criticism. I'm not going to go too much into this. I recommend you look at Sid Alpha's and Psy Syndicate's videos on this because this guy is, as I said earlier, deplorable. Nothing this guy does is right. He's handled everything in the worst way after being called out for something that he should have been legitimately called out for. And this is now the guy that Earth 2 have hired. Again, it's kind of baffling because a quick Google search reveals all of this. I mean, we can even go and look at his Reddit account, Tanner Jack Joe. Most of the posts he's made on Reddit on this account have been deleted, but there's a few that he missed. A lot of which tie him directly, directly back to his game. 
that was criticised. One of his posts even go as so. Introduction. Hey there, Varius Benson, lead producer of Civil Contract RPG. The exact game that was criticised. The name change alone on Steam should be enough to say that this is a real thing because of the times of these name changes. This is not a quick off-the-cuff joke by somebody in the last 24 hours. This is somebody covering up their real identity to hide the fact that they are in fact just a shit-shoveling shovelware salesman. This, again, like Dreamworld, is now opening up into this massive rabbit hole where the further you go down it, the less sense it makes. Okay, so this is actually some extra information here. After recording this, I was sent a document where somebody else had dug up irrefutable proof that this is in fact the same person, and it gets weirder. Tanner, or Varius, is in fact the same person, and it's being confirmed. In his Discord for his old game, he's recently just posted last month that he's going off to the, U uh, to the Australian army for four years. Yet, that's just a cover. The real reason is that he's now hiding so that he could become a member on the Earth 2 development team. And here's side-by-side -side proof of both of the profiles. They are the same profile that has been given the developer role in Earth 2, and that had the community representative role and the lead developer role at the time in the old Discord for the Capital Gaming RP Studios. So... Yeah, that, that's just a quick bit I wanted to add. This is getting more bizarre. Of course, this isn't the only information that we got this week. <laughs> we got the trailer. That, oh boy, that, that alone has its issues. Now, you'll be excused for not finding this demo, because with all the recent negative criticism that they've received, this video is not even on the top page anymore of YouTube. And this is from the official Earth 2 YouTube channel. It is a 1 minute 26 video of them driving an asset store bought buggy with asset store bought physics round a bit of land that seemingly cuts off in the distance. So they claim that this demo is just a demo of their terrain and physics. They then follow up in a YouTube comment by saying, uh, yeah, but it's not about the physics or the buggy. So, so what is this demo about? Because if it's not about the two things that they're showing off here, in the title, what is this? This is nothing. And the upload of this was very, very conveniently timed as well. This went live during the premiere of Josh Strife Hay's latest Earth 2 video, his deep dive. This almost seems like a decoy that was rushed and thrown out to stop the believers becoming non-believers. To give them something to pull them away from the inevitable deep dive that will prove all of them wrong. The timing was just too convenient, and I truly believe that was the intention of it. This demo does not show anything that is currently unavailable to achieve in basic game engine settings. In fact, somebody else remade this demo not using the same assets, but it doesn't matter because the assets are store-bought anyway. But they remade the exact demo in under an hour. As we all said it was possible to do. The next issue is that developers are reluctant to address any of the YouTubers' concerns. Now, why should they address us? We're just nobodies, right? Well, our opinions have become quite widespread. And as I just stated, the Earth 2 official videos and the Earth 2 supporters videos are pushed off of the first page of YouTube. If you search Earth 2 now, all the videos uncovering the scam are the first ones on there. That's the first thing people will see. It is in their best interests to address these issues, if they at all can address them. Which is what's making me believe that they can't. Because, well, they can't. I will say something though, I said in my last video that if I was wrong about something, I would come forward and admit that I was wrong. I have referred to this game as a scam, a pyramid scheme, and a Ponzi scheme. Now, as me and Josh looked into this before Josh's premiere of his last video, by legal definition, and I want to emphasize this, by legal definition, this is not a pyramid scheme, a Ponzi scheme, or a multi-level marketing scheme. However, 
It's much worse than that. These guys are skirting round the definitions of these by the thinnest of hairs. This model was clearly set up to have the end result of a pyramid scheme, a multi-level marketing scheme, and a Ponzi scheme, all while avoiding the consequences of them. Just a few looks into the literature that they use, and the definitions around these three scams, and the definitions around what legally defines these three scams, will tell you that these guys are so, so close to walking into the black area from the grey line, that this should be troubling news. I do believe they set out to make something that was as close to a scam, or that was a scam, while not being legally definable as a scam. Kira made a video recently where he says, what do I use to define a scam in a game? And I'm not going to repeat things from that video because I think Kira hit the nail on the head. Uh, I'll pop that up on the screen now, what, which video that was, and I suggest you go watch it. In this, Kira dis describes it exactly as I would. If it's advertised as a game, and you are deceitfully advertising your game, you are being purposefully deceptive in the advertising of your game, compared to what the end goal is actually going to be, you're scamming people. And I too believe that that is the case. I, I believe from, in my definition of the scam, even if it is not legally definable as a scam, to me that is a scam. You're advertising something that you know isn't achievable and you're taking the profits before you deliver. To me, that is a scam. And a lot of people keep saying, but what's the real issue with it? And honestly, the crypto rug pull that is pending, that to me is the real, real issue. Only a couple of days ago, a crypto trading platform called CoinSeed will have to close down after being sued by New York for selling worthless tokens and moving investors' money without permission. Now, here's the thing. These guys have got your permission to do that. So for the people saying, oh, but they could still be taken to court if they pull up, do a crypto rug pull. No, you've given them permission to do it. We're referring to it as a rug pull because in the industry, that's what it's known as. But you've agreed to it. You, you don't have a leg to stand on. This isn't, technically, this isn't a rug pull. This is them doing what you agreed to, but you will still lose all your investment. Now, I want to end this video on a high note. I just want to say, I have sat in the Earth 2 Discord for probably a combined 12 hours now. And honestly, not all people there are ill-intended. There are a lot of people that just are in this for the fun. And if that's what you want to do, if you're finding fun out of what this currently is, that's fine. You're getting your money's worth, I guess. But there's a lot of people that are peddling this for what it will be. And that's the real issue. They are peddling a product that does not currently exist. They cannot show off any technology that will allow this to exist. And they can't tell us when this will exist. All we can go off right now is that this doesn't exist, has no date when this will exist, and technically, right now, can't exist. But again, some of the people in this Discord I've had civilized conversations with. It's unfortunately, in this case, the majority that are ruining it for the minority. The opposite of usual. And with the recent revelations that, in fact, Ari Realty could get done for this, legally, uh, yes, I, I was actually trying to allude to this in my last video without calling names. When I was drawing a parallel with BitConnect, this is the parallel I was trying to draw. I'm not saying that inherently referral code promoters are in the wrong, that they are scammers. But what they're doing when they're offering legal advice, just like Trayvon James, who the other week was sentenced because of the BitConnect involvement. Now, this guy didn't have a direct involvement with BitConnect. He joined the scheme early and he promoted the hell out of it for a year and a half. That guy's going to jail. And... Honestly, the, the criteria that he matched, honestly, the criteria that he met matches exactly with ARIA Realty. And this is the comparison that I was also trying to draw when I mentioned them. Whether he knows it or not, he has set himself up for absolute failure here. He set himself up for a lawsuit. If slash when Earth 2 comes crashing down, it will be the investors at the top that they go for because they are the ones who kept pushing this and pushing it and pushing it. Am I going to continue to call this a scam? Yes, I want you to know that from now on, I am not calling it a scam by the legal definition. I am calling it a scam by the internet's now commonly known definition. <laughs>